you cool cats at AHS. Welcome to another edition, awesome edition of the only TV show you're allowed to watch in school. I'm your host, Sarah Sanders. How many of you remembered to vote for the Anacortes High School lip dub? I know I did. The lip dub premiere was awesome. Take a look. On Monday, April 12th, representatives from each school involved in the lip dub competition gathered at Bradniak Hall for the official premiere of their videos. So, because all of, uh, five high schools, such as Julio, Carver, Mount Vernon, Burling, Pan, and us, we all made lip duds. We decided to make a big premiere to show each one of them. So, we're here hosting it at Bonyak, and we have two we showings one at 7 and one at 8 o'clock. And we had a good amount of people come to the 7 o'clock one and it's the 8 o'clock one. And people are coming, and it seems like all the students are really enjoying themselves. It's really fun to watch all the other schools lift up and see how they did it compared to how we did it. And Here are the current standings for the lip dub voting. Cedra Woolley's entry featuring Say Hey I Love You by Michael Franti is in first place with 2,342 votes. Anna Cordes is assured of second place with 1,918 votes. Mount Vernon managed to get 790 votes while Burlington and Oak Harbor fizzled out with 70 and 42 votes respectively. You can still get registered on ghostgadget.com and vote for Anna Cordes from now until May 1st. As always, the broadcast and stagecraft clubs did their part to get the event rolling. Thanks to the Lip Dub's amazing director and assembled staff, it was accepted into the Seattle International Film Festival. Congratulations to Scott Calvert and everyone who helped out. You made it happen. I thought it was excellent, actually. It was, uh, of course, Anna Cordes was the best, I think. <laughs> oh, man, you know what? It was, it was interesting, but I felt like we could do more with it. Like, flamage, fireworks, boom, explosion. So remember to vote for our lip dub as much as you can. I'm serious. If you don't, Zedra Woolley will beat us. So go vote as soon as you get home. Seriously, I'm begging you. Anyway, it seems that the holidays are scarce around this time of year. How many of you are excited about Earth Day? That's what I thought. Here's a segment on one of our less recognized but still very important holidays. Earth Day is the 22nd, and if you guessed it, it's all about saving the planet. So, here's a couple of things you can do to help out. One thing is that you should just start recycling. Pretty much everybody has been doing it for at least three to four years. So why not do your part? Another thing you can do is just not drive your car so much. Try riding a bike or walking somewhere. It may be a little bit harder, but it pays off in the end. Did you know if you drove 10 miles every day in your car, it would add up to 2,856 pounds of CO2 a year. And that can add up to a lot in your lifetime. So do your part. Instead of leaving lights on all the time, try just switching them back off when you leave the room. It's easy to find out your own ways to help the Earth. Simply Google it. I mean, how hard is that? Earth Day isn't the only big date coming up. Speaking of dates, have you got yours for prom? I heard Jake Miller and Tom Kovach do. Congratulations. Time is running out.
It seems towards the end of the year, people start getting lazy, especially us seniors. How many of you know what senioritis is? Words search, searching for the words, sapping will to care. Wake up! You're in the schedule changes! Who are you? I'm here to tell you that you are suffering from senioritis. This is less consistent than NHS scheduling. And you know what? You know who knows about senioritis best? Mr. Rongren. What is senioritis? Student one asked, once asked me. And according to my crack research staff, senioritis, which comes from the senior word, plus its suffix itis, refers to an inflammation. But in colloquial speech, itis is assumed to, to mean an illness. And in the United States, senioritis is described as a decreased motivation and studies displayed by students who are nearing their senior year of high school or college. Um, having been a school counselor for many years, I have seen various degrees of senioritis, and I have counseled many students with uh, the illness of senioritis, or inflammation in this case, of senioritis. Senioritis happens usually around this time of the year, and there's many things one can do to fight or combat senioritis. Um, stay engaged, stay connected, Stay, stay motivated, stay goal oriented, um, keep the big picture, the big goal, the big pie in the sky in, in sight here. There's, there's more to life beyond the next two months and you don't want to throw away everything you've worked for for the last 12 years uh, just to have a, a month of fun. Um, even though we've all been there, um, you two will make it through senioritis, so keep the faith. Go Seahawks. So that's senioritis, but wait! I've seen non-senior students exhibiting the same symptoms. Nah, nah, they're just lazy. Well, that's all we have for you this week on The Rock. This is Sarah Sanders signing out and reminding you, go vote for our Lift Up. I mean it seriously, from our rock to yours. Have a great day. <laughs>